Have you ever wondered how DBS CAN works in machine learning? Well, your curiosity is about to be satisfied today as we delve into this fascinating algorithm. DBSCAN, which stands for Density-Based Spatial Clustering of Applications with Noise, is a popular clustering algorithm used in machine learning. Unlike other clustering algorithms such as K-means, DBSCAN does not require you to specify the number of clusters in advance. Instead, it uses the concept of density to determine clusters as well as to identify points that do not belong to any cluster, often referred to as noise. Now, how does this work? There are three main steps to executing a DBSCAN algorithm. The first step involves defining two main parameters. Epsilon, the maximum distance between two points to be considered in the same neighborhood, and min PTs, the minimum number of points required to form a dense region. The second step is where the real action begins. The algorithm goes through each point in the dataset, and, if there are a minimum of min PTs within epsilon distance, a new cluster forms. If there are fewer than min PTs within epsilon distance, but the point is within epsilon distance of another point, it becomes a part of that point's cluster. If neither condition is met, the point is labeled as noise. The third and final step is the repeat of the second step, but this time for all the newly formed clusters. The process continues until all points have been assigned to a cluster or labeled as noise. So what makes DBS CAN special? Well, its strength lies in its ability to find clusters of arbitrary shapes, something many other algorithms struggle with. Plus, it's great at dealing with noise and outliers in the data, thanks to its density-based approach. However, DBSCAN is not without its challenges. Selecting the right epsilon and min PT's values can be tricky and can significantly impact the results. Additionally, it may struggle with datasets where the density varies significantly. To sum up, DBSCAN is a powerful density-based clustering algorithm that can detect clusters of varying shapes and sizes and effectively handle noise and outliers. It does have its challenges, particularly when it comes to selecting the right parameters and handling datasets with varying densities. But when used correctly, it can offer valuable insights into your data, making it a worthy tool in your machine learning toolkit.